Okay, YouTube, I'm back again here, and this is my demonstration on how I remove the upper and lower control arm with the spring still in place. Well, pretty much you have to get all the other components off, but that spring is the uh, hard part. So what I did, as you can see, I still have the castle nuts in place here, but that almost doesn't even matter. I wouldn't suggest, you know, that anybody try this unless you're being real, real careful. But what I did, I unbolted the upper control arms here. And uh, what you're gonna see me demonstrate is, I'm gonna bring my jack under the control arm here and I'm slowly gonna raise it up to put tension on that uh, spring. And as I do that, the upper control arm is pretty much gonna slide out of its bracket. It stayed in place on the driver's side how I did it. So nothing went flying. And uh, when this finally unhinged from where it's uh, con connected to, I pretty much just pulled it out and slowly I lowered my jack and it all just went down fine. So I'm gonna do a demonstration here. I'm just gonna bring my jack around and then we'll see. Okay, video viewers, as you can see here, I have my jack in place. And this is a three and a half ton jack. And I have it just pretty much wedged under the lower control arm here. And slightly, I'm just gonna raise it up and then this whole area will raise up. And eventually, the upper control arm will slide up and once this part is out, I can just lower my jack slowly and then it all just comes down safely. So here we go. Just wanna put my camera in a good position here. That way you could see it as I'm doing it. Okay, alrighty video viewers. So I'm jacking up the vehicle right now. And by doing this, I'm placing tension on the spring. But at the same time, the control arms will come up. Okay, video viewers, and as you can see here, as I raised the car up, the upper control arm unhinged itself from the joint bracket where it is. So what I'm going to do now, and uh, I've looked all over YouTube, I've never seen this done. I'm pretty much just going to lift here with the jack still in place. It's still holding on to the spring. I haven't done anything yet. Now I'm going to release that tension slowly, very slow because that spring is under a lot of tension. And just like that video viewers, the upper control arm is off. That spring has no tension in it at all because there's nothing from the top or bottom that's holding it. And I'm pretty much just gonna slide that spring out. And uh, we're in business. And I got a whole new setup for this car. I'm going, I'm doing coilovers, QA1. I'm gonna pretty much sand down this whole frame here because it's real dirty. It's an old car, 1966, that has never had a frame conditioning done. But I'll, uh, I'll try to post before and after pictures of, this is how the frame looks now. Gonna sand everything down. The engine is a rebuilt engine and the car runs real good. It's just the uh, suspension I'm concerned about want a smooth ride, much better braking system. So there, there you go, YouTube. I got that spring out without 
a spring compressor. And this is a technique that I, I haven't seen yet. It's maybe out there, but I just haven't found it. Okay, thank you, YouTube.